Hey there, it's Chris from Good Roads, and in this video, we're gonna continue trying to figure out how to make skateboard and longboard wheels at home. When we last left off, I designed and printed this set of wheel cores, which house the bearings and keep the wheels aligned to the axles. And now that we have cores, we need a way to cast urethane in them and around them, and that's gonna be tough. Here's some of the challenges we're facing. Here's some of the reasons it's gonna be a little bit of a tough sell. The wheel has to be almost perfectly round. Once the wheel's cast, we need to be able to remove it from the mold system. I don't have a lathe, so I need to be able to cast both the outer and inner lip of the wheel. The core needs to be suspended in the mold in a way that aligns it with the rolling surface of the wheel. That one is critical. And we need a way to get resin into the mold. And just because that isn't difficult enough, I also want a way to do dual color wheels or like the swirl wheels, kind of the same way that we did with the homemade bushings. And that is a lot of problems for this mold to have to solve. Well, I gave it my all and I think I came up with something that just might work. This is what I hope is a solution to all of those issues. This is a set of three 3D printed mold parts that seats the core within the wheel. Assembles to make a cavity in the shape of the wheel I designed. and hopefully disassembles in a way that allows the wheel to be extracted when the resin cures. Whew. Why don't I take you into the design files so that I can give you a sense of how I'm hoping all of this will work. So here's the whole system. This piece is the base of the mold, which will shape the outer lip of the wheel profile and help align the core. The core gets seated on the mold base like this. This is the part that I'm calling the mold insert. It threads into the base of the mold and clamps the wheel's core in place against the base. And it also shapes half of the inner lip of the wheel. The threaded section that joins the mold insert to the mold base is pretty long. So I'm hoping that it will really help keep these two pieces and the core perfectly aligned. And the third part of the mold is this, the mold wall. This part shapes the contact patch and the rest of the inner lip of the wheel. And it also threads into the base. Let me turn on a quick section analysis that will let us see a cross section so I can show you what's going on inside the mold. The cavity in here is what will become our wheel. This is what's going to get filled up with urethane. This gap up here between the mold wall and the mold insert is what's going to make a pour spout. This is where resin will flow into the mold. The chamfered rim here will work as a funnel and the urethane will pour into the mold through this gap. The insert has a built-in draft angle so I should still be able to remove it after the resin is cured. And if I'm careful with my pouring, I should be able to just cut off any flashing from this gap with flush cutters. That's the hope anyway. So, having the system all designed, I printed myself out a set. I printed my parts in Solutex Premium PLA at a 0.1 millimeter layer height, 0.4 millimeter line width, and eight walls, and it took a while. But when the prints were done, they were strong and about as accurate as I could get them with the machine that I was using. But when a 3D printer lays down plastic, it's laying it down in layers, and on a really small scale, the surface has all these little ridges in it. As it stands, liquid urethane will flow down into my mold into these ridges, cure, locking my part in place. I'll never be able to get it out. So with the hopes of addressing that, I did a lot of post-processing. First up, I sanded all of the surfaces that would come in contact with urethane. I started at 150 grit and went all the way down to wet sanding at 600 grit. That got my mold surfaces super smooth, but I really want to leave no room for error. So I also decided to coat the mold, mating surfaces, and threads in paste wax. I rubbed a layer on, and when it had dried, I buffed it smooth, working the wax into all of the corners and any flaws that I could see. Here's what the surface looks like straight from the printer. And here's the sanded, waxed, and buffed surface. It is glassy smooth. 
It's even smoother than it looks here. Those little white lines you can see aren't ridges or scratches, it's the wax filling in those ridges and scratches. Even with all of those precautions in place, I'm probably still going to use petroleum jelly as a mold release as well. In addition to making sure that absolutely nothing sticks to the mold, when everything's cured, it should also act as a lubricant and make it much easier to extract the wheel. And because the absolute last thing that I want to have happen is put all this effort into my mold and then have it fail because of cure inhibition issues, I made little test cups with all of the treatments, the paste wax and the petroleum jelly, and they're curing in the mold right now. And while I'm at it, I'm also testing cure interactions between urethane and 3D printed resin. Hopefully that will enable some cool stuff in the future. Can you tell I'm nervous about this one? I'm taking every possible precaution I can think of to give myself the best shot at having this mold system work out. And it still might not. I might not be able to get the urethane out of the mold. The core and the rolling surface might not be aligned. Ugh. Well, if I do all of this and it still fails, at least I can be confident that for a first try, I gave it everything I had. If this works, if, I will release all of the printing files for the cores and the molds, so if any of you out there have a printer, you can take a stab at making your own. And I'll also release the working files. That's right, if this experiment succeeds, I'm going totally open source with it. Open source skateboard and longboard wheels. So subscribe and stick around for the results. Will it be the most triumphant of victories, a terrible tragedy, or something in between? No matter how it turns out, I hope I'm keeping you guys entertained. I'm hoping you're having fun. Got questions or comments? Want to leave some encouragement? Some encouragement would be really nice right now. Leave it down in the comment section below and we'll chat. As always, I love having you along for the journey. And until next time, I'll see you soon.